We have Elefino, he says, Can you build an OTK deck based around Siege Engine? Let's do it. So, Siege Engine I think is the warrior card that gains damage whenever you gain armor. Yeah. Whenever you gain armor, give this minion plus one attack. Does this work with Armorsmith? Like, so you can, you can go Armorsmith Whirlwind, right? Is that a thing? If it's not a thing, this is going to be very hard, but <laughs> I'm assuming it is, so... We definitely need two charges with our Siege Engine, and we definitely need Armorsmith. I'm going to just get the core cards out of the way, sort of looking at what we're dealing with here. And we need ways to make our Armorsmith gain us armor, so we need Whirlwind effects. So we have Siege Engine, Charge... I don't know why anyone would do this over Frothing Berserker, but we're doing it. I guess we could have them both in there for just more win conditions. And then we can have Frothing Berserkers in there, Despites, the War Xs. Bouncing Blades. Bouncing Blades is too deep, guys. We need Draw and Removal in the same package. Slam's good for that. We want Accolade of Pain to go with our Whirlwind effects to help us clear the board. And then we need Sustain to make us last long enough to make these combos happen. And so I guess I want to not do a Patron Shell with it because I feel like it would be kind of too cheesy. But you could just throw Patrons in here, call it a deck, and go ham. But I think what we're going to do is get the Belchers in here, get the Shield Maidens in here, get the Execute Shield Slams, take a Control Warrior approach to it and try and OTK people like that. Also we need Emperor, otherwise we just won't have enough damage. We can get Emperor in here. Justicar might be too slow honestly for what we're trying to do. We need more draw. I guess loot orders aren't the worst thing. Um, what are those other draw options we could do? There's Battle Rage to go with the Whirlwind effects. We don't have that many 2 drops though, so Battle Rage decreases in value a lot. Mm -hmm. oh, like, without having a lot of minions for Battle Rage to trigger off of it, it's not as good. We also don't have that great of removal options right now, so we gotta look at cutting potential combo pieces to fit in more draw and removal. I think Wild Pyromancer is the least valuable of our combo pieces, so I'll cut that for a bash for removal. And you gotta worry about staying alive before we worry about drawing. I think charge. We should probably have equal amount of chargers as chargees, but eh, we could play the minions as just value minions just to be good. Sure. Shield block could be good. Being able to kill our bonus minions is better. Maybe we only need one whirlwind. One shield main. It's like too heavy, huh? And then we can put in loot orders for earlier game draw. So earlier draw. It's Garrison Commander. Garrison in theory could it only adds two damage, right? Whenever you gain armor, give this minion plus one. It's not equal to the amount of armor you gain, it's whenever you actually gain armor. Mm -hmm. I mean, we'll give it a shot. It's gonna be depressing if it counts like the 30 armor I gain in one turn as gaining one armor. Should we cast the ESL tournament? Yeah, I casted the ESL tournament a long time ago. We're probably doing reruns of it. I don't think I want Shield Slam. I already got War X, so I think I'm pretty good there. Sick weapons, man. Just one attack beginning any armor. But I think the armor adds in different instances, which then causes more damage. I'm hoping anyway. It'll be dumb if it, if it had just like 
Whirlwind with an armor smith on the field and I only gained one attack even though I gained 30 armor. I'm hoping that that counts each in little individual armor gain separately because it shows a separate animation from the uh, armor smith every time, you know? Gotta believe, man. Either way, we have the alternate win condition of the frothings with charge, so I mean, got a lot of combo -y things happening. I want to try and guarantee draws off this acolyte, so I'm gonna just play this loot hoarder and swing. And then next turn he probably plays Animal Companion, and I play Despite and swing. Hit this loot hoarder freezing trapped, then Acolyte of Pain, swing my Despite for the second time, triggering the whirlwind, getting extra draws off my Acolyte of Pain. Ooh. This seems potentially dangerous. I guess I'm feeding him bow charges just to make things happen here. I mean, I gotta beat the freezing trap eventually. Beating it with the loot hoarder isn't too big, big of a cost to me. It cost me three life, basically. Which theoretically isn't bad. <laughs> We're warrior. Uh, something tells me he's got a lot of damage in his hand. I think we're just gonna play Siege Engine for value. We're gonna start pressing it. Looking for Armorsmith. If we find an armor smith, we can get lethal. Assuming we're still alive. Ow. That's four damage right there, holy crap. Executes no help. So, I'm gonna go here. We're trying to kill him this turn, right? I want to play Accolade of Pain and Swing, I think. Eat the 4 damage. Maybe I can find Armorsmith, get Whirlwind. If I find Armorsmith and get Whirlwind, I'm going to gain 2 more armor. Except for so it's like... No. It's probably not worth it. So if I swing here, I get 4 plus 7, I need 3 damage. Then I can armor, play Armorsmith and Whirlwind, and hopefully that's 3. If I play Acolyte of Pain, I can't armor, so I can't get the third. Well, it's going to be three because Acolyte of Pain gets injured. So Armor Smith plus Whirlwind should still theoretically be lethal. Didn't get Armor Smith. Got Bash, though. Cool. That was a lethal hot I wasn't expecting. Alright, so, I mean, that worked. Oh, piece of cake. Bless, man. <laughs> Easiest game of my life. Alright, Siege Engine confirmed OP. Alright, easy OTK. Alright, so we didn't really notice too much going on there. Uh, we had plenty of draw. I had the Siege Engine, we had things to play. much removal, maybe we can get rid of Execute, since we're not like a super late game deck, and put in maybe a shield pool. Uh... Sure, we'll try that. One little change. And, uh... Let's see... I mean, we didn't really get a good feel of it against Face Hunter, you know?
Now we got a first face shaman? Come on, game. Why are you never gonna let us have like a decent game for testing? Alright, so we probably want all the removal and not the Emperor. So we're just looking for draw into Emperor basically. Shield block's pretty good against face shaman. Ghouls. Ghouls are potentially good, yeah. Problem is you can't activate your own ghoul anymore, so ghoul's gone down a lot in value in these sort of decks. It's the war song commander it used to make it so you could charge your ghoul in for a whirlwind. But without that being the case, like ghoul's value isn't very good. Is charge in here? Yeah, there's two copies of charge, man. Well, face shaman should be easy just because of our removal kit. That seems like a pretty good whirlwind. We have like all of the whirlwind of patron. I mean, all of the removal of patron and more because we have bashes. It's like patron with bash and more mid range creatures. We have plenty of things to charge at their face, so I mean, we can afford to drop any of our minions just for clearing. We've got double siege engine, double brothing, so we're okay. He goes for the crackle. <laughs> Misses the crackle, feels bad. Oh, that hurts. That's not good. Alright, so anyway, I think using the weapon here is okay, because most of the time next turn we're playing Death Spite anyway. Gotta get start getting these weapon charges somewhere. We run double charge in our deck. Eventually, we're gonna need damage. So, why not now? I think just winding up the whirlwind so that dies is okay. Plus, we scare the shit out of him. <laughs> so, hopefully, if he doesn't make the trade, then, uh, like, we can trade into his next minion and have the whirlwind kill it. See, look at him, he's bowing down to us now. Alright, so we got charge for that on turn 8. Let's slam this, see what we can find. We want to get this down on turn 7, right? Another charge. I guess we do just swing. I don't know, we're a control deck. Why are we trying so hard to... I don't need to be killing him on turn 8 exactly. This combo. It does like 7, 8, 9 damage. If it even works the way that I want it to work, it may not even work that way. It may just do 8 damage. Alright, we'll get this out there, we'll get this out there. We're setting up the combo. We can charge a siege engine at his face, gain a bunch of armor from our minions at the same time. Massive damage. No, oh, what are you doing? Rude. I was hoping that would stick around. He only told him he's gonna screw me here. Wow, that's aggressive. He's got a passion for damage. Clean up though. Am I in my old house? I'm in my old house still. My new house, I had a, a home inspection done. Because, I mean, like, I'm not moving in until March if I do buy it, but 
I, I did the home inspection before I, I like bought it. Basically, there's like a whole bunch of steps you go through when you buy a house, right? To like do it the right way and not get scammed. But uh, the home inspection process went through that. So I paid some dude to come look at the house and tell me if there's anything wrong with it, is this going to be a good investment for me? And then he was like, everything looks good, now we just have to check in the crawl space. And then he checks in the crawl space and he's like, oh, the main beams had termites at one point and never got fixed. And uh, the whole house has got tons of structural damage because of that and uh, it's foundation problems. It's going to be like $10,000 to get all that fixed. And I was like, damn it. So that wasn't advertised on the house like when I was going there. So now I gotta go back to the seller and be like, look man, I thought the house was gonna be not full of structural problems, not have foundation issues, so um, I don't want to purchase it unless these things get fixed, and then he turns around and fixes them, and then everything's happy, hopefully. Or he could turn around and be like, well, yeah, I don't want to sell it to you then, so we'll see. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing, Super Explosive Sheep, basically. So I'm working it out. Alright, we'll charge up the siege engine for the OTK. Where's the house? Email, the house is in Berkeley. Which was voted one of the like best places in Michigan to live. So that's pretty cool. It might be. Man, the Siege Engine dream, they just never want to let live. I think we get this in there. Working on trying to kill him next turn. Why don't I move to California? So I got friends and family in Michigan. That's where I grew up. And I like it here. And it's way cheaper than California. And I want to be able to stream for a living. And if I uh, want to move and live in California with all the rich people, I might have to get a real job and grow up and work at a desk and hate my life like... So, I'm content with living in Michigan. <laughs> Getting a cute little place. Doing things I like to do. I'm happy with that. I mean, we are shitting on people with this warrior deck. So, uh, crushing it. Easiest siege engine OTK of my life. So yeah, there we go. 2-0 siege engine OTK. Does really good against, uh... Does really good against aggro. Yeah, man. Judge Tomberry, that's what I'm trying to do. But, I mean, it's up to the seller if he wants to do that. He could turn around and be like, no, I don't really want to do that, and then I would have to go look for a different house to buy, which would suck. So, we got meetings tomorrow with the seller to try and figure out if uh, he's going to want to be able to take the money for the foundation damage off the, the possible sale price, or if he doesn't want to sell it like that. And then... If he doesn't want to sell it like that and he wants to try and put it back out on the market, then he just has to advertise that there's that structural damage now that I told him about it, which may make it harder for him to sell the house, so that's his downside with it. So hopefully, he doesn't want to, have to go through that, and then he just uh, either fixes it for me, or takes the price off. Alright, rocking a mage deck here. We got Loki. 